is 19 to Daber el kol adat bene Yisrael va amarta elehem kadoshim to you ki kadosh ani Hashem elohechem context, the Lord is giving instructions to Moses. Speak to all the assembly of the people of Israel, and you shall say to them, Be you holy, for holy am I, the Lord your God. Daber. Now, in this case, we have all three root letters showing Dalit, Beit, Resh to speak, and we are looking at a PL, and our indicator here is there's a dagesh in the middle root letter, and it's a strong dagesh because it comes after a vowel sound, a patak. Now, this is an imperative, masculine, singular. Speak! Exclamation point. So let's take a moment and reconstruct the second person masculine singular imperfect. So here we would have to daber. Now in the case of making the imperative, we just chop off the front and that leaves behind the imperative. In this case, there's one difference. We notice there's a dagesh in the dalit. That's because once we chop off the front, we lose the vowel sound, so we need to add the dalit back in, uh, excuse me, the uh, dagesh back into the dalit to make the imperative. Amarta, here we have all the root letters showing, aleph, mem, resh. This is a kal, vav consecutive perfect, two ms. Same subject would be Moses. And since the Vav consecutive perfect is a chameleon, here this is going to carry the same sense as uh, the imperative above. It's just going to follow the sense of the previous. So it's, and you shall say. This is a most remarkable teaching for um, holiness is a special burden of the priesthood. So in a real sense, there's this, uh, a, a priesthood of all the congregation here, and that you all shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. But at the same time, this can't be taken too far in this context, because in Numbers 16, um, this is exactly what the, re the rebellion claims with Korah and others. We're all holy, the whole congregation. And of course, uh, the earth swallows some of these rebels up. So there is a sense where all Israel is responsible for holiness to come into the courts of the Lord as laity, but they do not have the burden of holiness at this point enjoyed or rather um, piled upon the priesthood themselves.